it's a trap uh, that they're stuck in. It's, it's a living hell um, that they're experiencing. And regardless of what they do or where they go, they're still trapped in that. Devdasi system in Karnataka is a very old practice. Devadas is a uh, God's servant. It's temple prostitution and it's completely accepted because it's something you're doing as um, out of devotion to your God. Not only are they shunned because of their profession, but they're shunned just by society because of their status. They're the, the lowest of the low. They're not even in the caste system, they're outside the caste system. <laughs> When they are just an infant, born right one month or two months, they get married to the goddess Selama. Once they become uh, uh, matured, then they go to the temple. Most of the time, the girls, when they dedicate, uh, they do not have a choice because the parents choose for their life. Many of these women were the second or third born in their families and their parents um, dedicated them because maybe an older sibling or one of the parents was ill or had some kind of health problem and so they would sacrifice one child for another child. The women here are like prisoners. Every woman would like to have a family and children of her own, and she doesn't get this chance. See, Devadasis, they, they are isolated, discriminated, living in a secluded community. <laughs> To sacrifice unknowingly or unwillingly um, your body, your dignity, your respect, everything about yourself for another person, it, that, just really, that just really hurt my heart. They need to know the love of Christ. And the only way that they're going to have that is if, um, is if we go and tell them. They don't know the sacrifice that Christ made for them. All they see is them making sacrifices. It would be so powerful, I think, in their lives um, to hear that there is um, a God who loves them so much that He would sacrifice His life for them, not just His body, but His life. <laughs>